Hey guys, it's Clueless Crafts, back again for another Minecraft scenery video. I'm starting off with a basic paper template, and then I'm dividing that up into each individual level. Once everything's cut out, I can focus on the first level. I wanted to make it easier to cut out all the parts, so I duplicated the template and cut out each individual part. Now the problem I had with the previous Minecraft sceneries I've made is that the levels were uneven. So I wanted to try and prevent that this time by making a stopper. I took some popsicle sticks and glued two together using hot glue. I'm hoping this will make things a lot easier. Truth be told, it still did come out uneven in places, but I put the blame on me baking the first layer upside down. I'm not sure what exactly my reasoning was at the time, I think it was because I wanted the side facing up to be flat for the next layer to go on top, but I guess I didn't also consider that the bottom should be flat if it's the one resting on all of these flat surfaces. But lesson learned, every project is a learning experience. Once all of my pieces are cut out, I'm placing them together on a piece of parchment paper. I'm doing this because one, it's easier to lay out when it doesn't stick to the tray and two, it's less likely to burn on parchment paper than just on the pan itself. I'm also using some more parchment paper to flip it over so I can blend all the edges together. And when the bottom's done, I'm doing the same thing to the top. I'm also placing the template back on top so I can trim off the edges so it's closer to the original shape. And finally, just cutting up some green strips for the grass. The second layer is a little bit easier just some brown dirt and green grass on top. I'm cutting the template in half to make it easier for myself to cut out later. And it's just a simple process of laying that on top of a strip of green clay and trimming around the edges for the grass. Now, what I didn't do for this layer that I should have is cut off any excess grass that I didn't need. And that was going to be covered by dirt in the next level. Because you'll see later on when the next levels are placed that there's a small green layer between the brown ones and it's just not the look I'm going for. And you'll notice that I'm cutting off any unneeded green clay that's going to be covered by the next level. This is what I should have done before, but I do end up covering up that green line with some brown clay, as you can see now. So I guess it all worked out in the end. But now that our structure's done, I want to move on to the smaller details. The first one being Steve. I had a commenter suggest that I do Steve and Alex for my next Minecraft video. Hopefully a mini Steve will suffice for now. But I do have plans on making Alex in a future Minecraft scenery video. So if you guys have any suggestions on the next biome you want to see, then just let me know down below. It's really difficult to sculpt this small, especially when everything is trying to stick to my fingers. But hopefully I can improve before I make Alex. And next is a major staple of the jungle, vines. I'm just rolling really thin logs of green clay and splitting that in half. So I'm using two silicone tip tools and I'm carefully, very carefully shaping a wave into the log. I'm also using the leaves as a connector between the two vines so that they won't fall apart. This took a lot of practice, but trust me, if you make this, you will have a lot of practice because jungles mean a lot of vines. Then it's on to the trees. For the tree trunks, I'm rolling them out into long fat logs and shaping them with my blade. I'm gonna have a giant jungle tree plus a couple of regular ones. And for the leaves, I'm doing something pretty similar with green clay, just cutting those into squares. Though I got tired of doing that and I just ended up cutting them into logs. Especially since cutting them when they aren't baked makes the corners rounded. So I thought it would be better to bake it and then cut it afterwards. I was wrong. It was not better. What I should have done is cut them into cubes before they were baked and then squish them all together into like a tree shape and then bake it. That's what I did for a tree in my other video and I thought I came up with a way better method, but no. The original method I had is great. But now comes the hard work of cutting all those cubes up and trying to separate this tree. I actually ended up cutting my finger on the blade, so I ended up putting a rubber guard to finish the job, which is why you'll see my finger in a bandage later in the video. 
but maybe don't be as dumb as me and cut clay with the blade against your fingertips. Anyway, I'm just cutting the logs up into sizes I think would look okay for a treetop and super gluing all of the pieces together. For the giant tree, I'm trying to make do with what I have, but I did not make enough leaves and I really did not want to make more. Now comes the fun part of adding all the vines to the trees. It was a bit tricky to get them to stick, but seeing everything come together was so exciting. Some finishing touches along the sides. And we can't forget Steve. All right, and this is the finished scenery. Hope you guys liked it. It took way longer than I care to admit to make this, so I am ecstatic that it's over. But nevertheless, the journey was a fun one and I am happy with the finished product. If you guys like this or want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe as I put out new videos every week. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all later. Bye!